Welcome back. Yes, this is now three news videos in one day involving the Ontario Hockey League. Earlier, we had trades, we had controversy in Sault Ste. Marie and the game on Friday against Kingston. And well, now we've got uh, an investigation that was released by the Ontario Hockey League. We had five head coaches who are let go over the first quarter of the regular season. And for some of the, the coaching changes, it made sense because the team just wasn't performing, wasn't meeting expectations. But there was one coaching change in particular that left fans scratching their head a bit, just wondering, okay, why exactly did this coach get let go? Well, now we know a little bit more of the story. The Ontario Hockey League announcing this evening that former Owen Sound Attack head coach Greg Walters has been suspended for the rest of the season. And uh, this is what they say. It's for calling an inappropriate verbal altercation he had with an attack employee on October 14th. So things were said, uh, not exactly sure what words. I don't think that really matters, but it's just the fact is something was said. The Ontario Hockey League brought in to investigate and have determined that it did uh, it violated some of their policies and Walters is not able to coach or participate in the Ontario Hockey League uh, for the remainder of the season. So uh, on October 14th, that would be the night that the Owen Sound attack were in Sault Ste. Marie and they shut out the Greyhounds 4 nothing in that game. Carter George was just outstanding. It seemed like things were going well for Owen Sound at the time, which left many people scratching their heads when Dale DeGray, the general manager of the Owen Sound attack, announced basically the following day uh, that uh, Greg Walters was no longer the head coach of the Junior Hockey League team. At the record, Owen Sound had a record of 15, 11, and 2. They were looking pretty good at the time. And uh, when you look back at the articles about what was said by DeGray, uh, he said uh, the firing was because they didn't share the same vision uh, for the team. And now that we know this, it makes a little more sense as to what transpired uh, between if it was Walters and DeGray or Walters and another member of the coaching staff or management or whoever it doesn't really matter uh, but words were exchanged and uh, Walters was let go and now the OHL saying that he's suspended up until June 30th 2024 uh, so that'll be the next time that he can uh, go back behind an OHL bench or be a part of an OHL organization so Darren Rumble he took over after the firing of Greg Walters and he's really helped this team uh, turn it around of late winners of eight of their last 10 things looking up right now for the attack in that uh, battle in the Midwest division. Uh, the attack they're back at home uh, against the Guelph storm tomorrow night before visiting the London Knights on Friday and then back home against Windsor on Saturday before the Christmas break. So what a way to go into the Christmas break uh, with this uh, news coming from the Ontario hockey league that Greg Walters has been suspended and uh, I know there's going to be people who are wondering, okay, what did Walters actually say? I really don't think it matters. The point is, uh, things were said, and uh, the OHL figuring that you need to, this needs to be done. And with the um, with the suspension, uh, it would seem as though uh, because of it's a breach of contract, I guess that means the Owen Sound attack don't have to pay the remainder of his contract uh, for the rest of the year. So. Whatever uh, those details are, just thought I'd post this video to share the big news now coming out of Owen Sound is that Greg Walters has been suspended for the rest of the year. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the situation in Owen Sound. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I don't think we'll have another news video to share before the end of the night. I kind of hope not because there's been a lot that's happened today. Uh, but uh, who knows? We'll be following along. And uh, just as a note, we do have a couple of interviews coming up before the end of the week. We have a Barry Colts defenseman who will be joining us and uh, also be touching base with a broadcaster from the Kitchener Rangers. So stay tuned for that as uh, we're now really close to the Christmas break and having a bit of a holiday from uh, junior hockey. So I hope you're having a great evening and we'll talk to you again soon.